Hello everyone, welcome to the Photoshop tutorial of Anarchy's channel. In today's video, we're going to look into some of the basic tools in Photoshop. Let's begin. So, we have discussed about the move and selection tools, the crop tools, the measurement crop tools in our previous videos. You can refer the description for the links of my previous parts. So, let's move on to the video. In this video, we're going to look into how to use the retouching and painting tools. That is the spot healing brush tool and the healing brush tool. So let's move on to the video. The first and the foremost tool is the spot healing brush tool. So this tool is the default healing tool in Photoshop. It is the most commonly used tool. Let's see how to use this tool. Fine. First, we'll get to know its shortcut. So, the shortcut for the spot healing brush tool is J. You can select the tool from the toolbar or you can sell, you can click the letter that is the key J. Fine. As soon as you select the tool, it shows an inactive sign. So, now we are going to select the image layer. Now, it's active. Let's delete. That is, eliminate the pocket from the ship. So, let's zoom in. First of all, make sure that the content aware is selected. You can find it at the top. The content aware. What is the content aware? This content aware makes aware of the content and makes corrections based on the content. That is, uh, I'll explain it to you. I'll explain it very clearly. Fine. That is, in this image, the content is the shirt. The correction is the pocket. That is, the content we are going to replace on the correction is the shirt. Fine. So now I'm going to bring the spot healing brush tool over the pocket. You can resize the size of the spot using the open tool preset picker. It's just right at the left corner. Fine. Let's make sure that our size of the brush is appropriate. That is, uh, when we are using a brush size larger than the correction, then we'll get a good result. So, I'm going to use a brush size which is larger than the pocket size. Fine. Now, bring the spot closer to the pocket. Fix it over the pocket. Fine. Now, click on the pocket. And now, you can see that the magic, the pocket is removed. Fine. You'll be able to see the magic, right? The mechanism is it. It removes the correction. That is the pocket. The pocket is the correction. It is being removed. Fine. And it fixes the pocket with the content. So what is the content? The content is the pattern. Fine. So moving on to the next tool in our video. The next tool is the healing brush tool. So as of now, we're going to see the use of healing brush tool. It lets you to repair large problems, areas in an image by painting over them. To select the healing brush tool, right click on the spot healing brush tool and the dialog box appears. So let's see the basic function of the healing brush tool. Our sample is the brick texture and our healing material is the window. Let's begin. We're going to select our sample by pressing and holding the Alt key. Remember, it is the Alt key. This will show you the appropriate system and I'm going to sample the brick part using the cursor. So make sure that the Alt key is kept pressing. See, I'm still holding on to the Alt key. So by holding it parallelly, I right click on my mouse to copy the sample. So now the healing brush tool has copied my sample. The next step is that after copying the sample, Let's paint the window with a brick sample. Fine. So let us eliminate the window from the elevation. For that, what we have to do for that, hold on the left mouse button. Okay. Then press hold shift on your keyboard to get a straight line. Fine. Then start painting. So when you're painting, you'll be able to see this cross and move along the brush. You don't worry, it's just indicating the sample pixels the brush is healing the preset to paint. Fine. So now when we zoom out, we'll be able to notice that the window is removed from the elevation. Fine. 
and you can see that the procedure to do this takes a very little time and it's very simple. So that is all we learned about a healing brush tool. So moving on to the next tool in the toolbar, which is right below the healing brush tool, is the patch tool. Fine? So let's see the uses of the patch tool. This patch tool is used to remove unwanted image elements. Let's see how to select the patch tool first. So first, we have to right click on the spot healing brush tool. Then you'll be able to find the patch tool in the dialog box. You can select the patch tool. Now let us learn how to use it. Okay. You can also select the patch tool using the shortcut J. As of now, uh, for an example, in this image, uh, suppose if I don't want the, uh, the flower over here. Okay. So I'm going to use the patch tool. It almost works like the selection tool. Okay. So I'll click over here. Circle around the flower. Then release it. So uh, for instance. I want the red flower to be here in the place of the blue flower. So what I'm going to do. I'm moving the selection from here over there. As you can notice over here, it's very simple. I'm just moving and just selecting the part and moving it over there. So it's giving us a preview of how it's going to look. Okay. Um, if you're satisfied with it, release the button. If you want to finish the path selection, the last thing to be done is to deselect the selection, which is control followed with D. So control plus D gives you the final product. So as you can see over here, the magic has been done. We have transformed the blue flower in the place of the red flower. Finally, we learned how to use the patch tool. Fine. So that's it. Our video ends. Let's catch up in the next tutorial video. So do suggest us more tutorial ideas. To follow and subscribe our channel for more tutorials and hope you'll write out some great informative source from our channel and do mention your comments in the chat box. Thank you.